cheeseburger ready. That's right, we can get our McFlurry on. Enjoy, Batman. Every region in the world has its own culinary preferences, so even though a black burger made with squid ink might seem far-fetched and a little repulsive, it's perfectly normal and tasty in Asia. On the other hand, a Nutella stuffed burger sounds too good to be true, yet we have to fly to Italy to get our hands on one of those. Let's check out the top 10 McDonald's regional burgers. Where can you find a burger? South Korea. Shrimp and Beef Burger. Shrimp Burger. The McD's version of Surf and Turf is this burger. It features one beef patty made with beef sourced from Australia and New Zealand, and it is paired with one crispy whole shrimp patty. It comes with a tomato slice, onion, lettuce, and it's topped with a double layer of spicy onion sauce served on a soft corn wheat bun. We are pretty sure Gordon Ramsay's version of a Surf and Turf is way different, but we wonder if he would yell at this burger or or applaud it. What are you? An idiot sandwich. McDee's has taken the classic fine dining experience of a steak with a side of grilled shrimp or lobster and converted it into a fast food burger. If you like your meat and your seafood together, then this might be the burger for you. But unfortunately, you will need to travel to South Korea to give this one a try. Try it. Hong Kong and China, the bacon macaroni and cheese toasty. Oh, I want my bacon. I got to tell you something. Bacon is good for me. There is no secret sauce in this delicious McCarb meal. It's simply mac and cheese with bacon pieces mixed in and served between two slices of bread. Except there is a cheesy plot twist. It's made with two types of cheeses. This one is not exactly a burger since it's made on slices of toast, but it has the same idea. This is China and Hong Kong's version of combining McDonald's fast food with the favorite comfort food from the West. Mac and cheese is a popular dish in North America, and when you add crispy bacon to the mix, oh, oh, free mix, <laughs> it levels up the tasty factor. The bacon, macaroni, and cheese sandwich has appeared on some unhealthiest foods list across the web for these reasons. While you're in Hong Kong, you could also try the Prosperity Burger. Two birds with one stone, yeah? The Prosperity Burger is served on a sesame seed bun and can consists of either a beef patty or hash brown dipped in black pepper sauce and then topped with onions. While it may be tasty and tastes even better with curly fries on the side, it might not bring you all the good luck you're looking for, but it's worth a try. After all, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. <laughs> well, that's sweet. Netherlands, Mick Croquette and Shwarma Burger. Welcome to, to the, the Netherlands. Netherlands. Okay, we couldn't resist sharing with you two burgers from the Netherlands because they are both just too good to be true and worth the mention. If you like beef stew and burgers, then the Mick Croquette is the ultimate combo, and you will still want fries with that. The Dutch have created the Mick Croquette, which is basically a beef stew inside a deep fried patty topped with none other than mustard, of course. Stew is a staple in Dutch cuisine, and they have recreated it into a burger at McDonald's to cater to the people's taste buds and preferences. Try this, your taste buds will dance and sing. And then there's the shawarma burger. We were half expecting this burger to show up in Turkey or the Middle East, where shawarmas or kebabs are a staple. But if you are a kebab lover, then this burger is the one. The shawarma burger burger from McDonald's Netherlands is made up of seasoned beef, lettuce, onion, with creamy garlic sauce and shawarma sauce. This burger was advertised to appeal to those who like to get a combo after a late night out, because who doesn't love a good burger or shawarma on the way home? You ever tried shawarma? Poland. Cordon Bleu Burger. Cordon Bleu. Formidable. Baton Rouge, noblesse oblige, au bon pain, chateau, maman. It may sound like a French burger, but this one is available only in Poland. Ever wanted to know what three types of meat in one burger would taste like? Now you can with the Cordon Bleu Burger consisting of a beef patty, chicken patty, and pork. 
The chicken patty is deep fried and stuffed with ham, in case you needed even more protein. Let's not forget the layered cheese in there, too, sandwiched in between an onion bun. Eastern Europeans in general are known to be meat lovers, from sausages to cold cuts, cooked cutlets, and everything in between. This is the meat burger dream right here. Get over here. If you were looking for a burger with all the protein and skipping the veggies, then you have found your match. The only catch is that this burger is only available in Poland, but it looks appetizing enough to consider incorporating a stop in Poland on your next Euro trip, or at the least, a layover long enough to go try one of these. Poland is no longer alone. <laughs> Japan, Gratin Croquette Burger. Croquettes. The Gratin Croquette Burger features a shrimp and macaroni creamy gratin inside a fried croquette. It comes with shredded cabbage, croquette sauce, and is sandwiched between a soft, fluffy bun. Now, if that doesn't sound super tasty, then we don't know what does. You can tell that it is very different from your usual burger. According to online reviews of this burger, it is said to be very tasty. As if this burger wasn't already tasty, they made some minor changes to make it even better when McDonald's decided to revamp it. Oh, oh, free mix, <laughs> They made a thick sauce to have a richer egg flavor and increased the spice levels of the croquette with a perfect touch to make an ideal pairing. Additionally, they added more fresh cream and butter to the dough, making it softer and more flavorful with a light and fluffy texture. The only thing is, it can only be purchased during winter months, so you'll have to wait until the colder season to take a bite out of this. Winter is coming. Spain. Grand Mick Extreme Bacon Burger. Spanish cuisine is unique and delicious, but you might replace the gazpacho or tortillas for this burger experience. It'll have you walking away saying, Mmm, delicioso! <laughs> but we have to warn you, this burger will have you joining the locals for an afternoon siesta. The Grand Mick Extreme Bacon Burger is, as the name says, extreme. This burger is layered with applewood smoked bacon beef patties, Gouda cheese, slivered onions, and Mick Bacon sauce. This burger has a whole lot of bacon flavor that has everyone saying, Viva España! The Gouda and smoked bacon make this burger look and taste like a gourmet burger. It might even fool you into thinking McDonald's has a gourmet menu. But if you are into rich foods with extra bacon that'll fill you up for hours, then this is easily the best burger you might ever have at a McDonald's. Viva España! Can you say delicioso? Asia, McRice Burger. Right, just like my father and mother. Yes, this is a real burger. At least it was, as it doesn't exist anymore. It was discontinued after McD's realized it was not gaining much popularity. The McRice Burger was available in Singapore, Indonesia, the Philippines, and Taiwan. One thing these countries have in common is that they are big, worldwide rice producers, and they love their rice dishes. Rice is a staple with almost any meal, and this burger was born to cater to this market. The burger was available in beef, fish, or chicken on a rice bun with lettuce and cabbage. The unique part of this burger was the rice bun. McDonald's wanted to appeal to all the rice lovers and hoped it would be a regular favorite menu item, but it didn't do as well as they expected. Apologize to the rice! Ronald McDonald ditched the bread for this bun-shaped construction of white rice, which is then toasted to hold its shape. It was tried by many, and perhaps it was tasty too, but McDonald's knows this better than anybody else. There's nothing like a burger with a soft bun. Visually, it looked very interesting and tasty, but with this burger, you will actually just have to eat with your eyes as the McRice is no more. We don't have enough rice for you, kid. New Zealand, NYC Benedict Bagel. Oh, great, so much for bagels. 
So much for what? A bagel might not be a burger, but again, it's all the same concept. The only difference is the bun it's served on. So if you thought this burger was going to be available in New York City, then think again. It is actually available in New Zealand. Hungry McDonald's customers can find this Benedict bagel for breakfast any day of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, uh. Wednesday. It's just a plain bagel with not so plain ingredients. It's made with a strip of bacon, a perfectly cooked round egg, a cheese slice, and a big dollop of hollandaise sauce between a sliced up plain bagel. You won't find this menu item in the United States, but you could say that it is a taste of New York City in New Zealand. With ingredients as broad as this, we are hoping that McDonald's starts supplying the NYC Benedict Bagel worldwide ASAP. He took a bagel! Turkey. Mega Mac Burger. Mega what? If you thought the supersize options in the American McDonald's were too big, then wait until you check out the Mega Mac Burger. It is only available in Korea, Turkey, and the United Arab Emirates. The Mega Mac is basically like the Big Mac, but a Big Mac that's been doubled. Instead of two beef patties, it has four. If you can manage to fit your mouth around all those patties and you love the classic Big Mac, then this one will fill you up for the whole day. Friday, Sunday. Saturday. The Mega Mac was created by the Japanese burgerologists who thought about expanding the boundaries of the famous Big Mac after being inspired by the Big Mac lovers. This burger just has double the fun and double the beef patties. That also means double the protein and double the fat. Did you also know that McDonald's in Finland is the only one to offer a gluten-free Big Mac? For all you gluten-free folks, it's your chance to experience the the Big Mac with no tummy troubles. Somebody just told you you probably shouldn't eat gluten. You're like, oh, I guess I shouldn't eat gluten. Australia, make Oz. I am Oz. Fasten your seatbelts because our McPlane is about to land on the last burger of this top 10. We are preparing for landing in the land down under where they refer to McDonald's as Maccas. So let's cut to the chase and talk about what is really in this McOz burger. It's got a 100% Aussie beef patty and this burger falls on the scale somewhere between a quarter pounder and a double quarter pounder. It has a four ounce beef patty, griddled egg, egg, beetroot, and the standard burger toppings of tomato, lettuce, onion, cheese, and ketchup on a toasted sesame bun. This burger is also known as the Kiwi Burger in New Zealand, the same burger, just a different country. Although the McOz Burger does sound like it will take you through the magical world of Oz. There's no place like we do, however, have some bad news, as we hate to tell you that it was discontinued and replaced by the McFeast Deluxe. This new and improved burger comprised of an extra large beef patty, cheese, tomato, onion, lettuce, pickles, and three sauces, mustard, ketchup, and McFeast Deluxe sauce on a sesame seed bun. They replaced the beetroot and egg with pickles, which for pickle lovers is a win, but who does doesn't love an egg on their burger oozing with yolk. Well, it doesn't matter now since both these burgers were replaced altogether with a new range of Angus beef burgers. Don't fret because as you can see from this list, there are so many regional burgers across the Mick world that you have plenty to choose from and you're bound to find one that suits your taste buds. Favorite food? Meat. Satisfy that craving with another Babble Top video. Just tap that screen. And if you're new to our channel, show us some love. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell to join our notification squad.